For the game, um, Gary talked about the tackling in general. He thought, just without having reviewed the tape, that he'd seen a lot better out of you guys. Have you guys gone over the tape yet? Yeah. What, what did you see just from the ability to get guys down <coughs> close to the line of scrimmage or behind it? Uh, I think there's mostly too many high tackles. Uh, I think we did a good job containing the play a lot um, on the edges. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple times, just a couple too many high tackles, a couple too many just shoulder uh, running into the guy. He, they did a good job of keeping balance and getting through those. Um, I think I think tackling was okay, but there's just a couple times when those happen and they bust out 10, 15 yard runs, and that's obviously not good, not what you want on defense. Mm -hmm. Also, there was a play late. I think it was a key third down play where they ran their super back at full back. And you looked like you were coming in. I don't know if you were rushing, and he kind of got to the outside of you. Yeah. That, what happened on that play? Um, I was actually supposed to be blitzing on the edge. Okay. I just had a bad feeling about him going to the flat because I was supposed to splatter him. Okay. And he, since he didn't block me, I just kind of felt a bad feeling. I looked at the quarterback. He was looking that direction. So I just turned and ran and tried to make a play. And nobody ended up covering him, so I had to try to chase him from behind. So he, he wasn't your responsibility? Uh, no. I should have been in the quarterback's face, but hopefully forcing the pass to go thrown faster. So it was kind of just messed up in a couple different areas, but. Is that uh, Caputo's guy? Because I mean, it seemed like there were um, a couple guys back there. I know Mike had to cover another guy that was in a route farther back. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know Mike ended up covering a tight end in a vertical. If he wouldn't have covered that, that would have been wide open. So I don't know exactly whose responsibility it was on the call. That play, I know I'm just supposed to rush off the edge, and it just kind of felt funky because it was, I thought they were going to run it because they've been running it the whole second half, try to eat up the clock. And they threw that pass at us, so it was kind of a funky play. Joe, without West Lawn in offense, it's been so pass heavy this season. How do you guys expect things to change with him now on the line? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't watched too much film. I don't know. I know they had explosive plays when he was in. I don't know um, who the backup quarterback, what his potential is, because he hasn't played a full game. And it's hard to come in in the middle of a game and play and be productive. So I think we just got to prepare like West Lunt's going to be the quarterback and then just go from there during the game. You mentioned that it was a funky play. I know one guy doesn't hurt a defense when he comes out, but without Marcus in there, did that lead to some issues in terms of communication or calls or not? Oh, yeah, definitely. Marcus is always a big communicator. He's setting the defense a lot of times in the middle there. Um, and I think Leon came in and Michael came in and did a good job in both their respective roles. Mm -hmm. I think our communication was pretty good. There's just a couple a couple times here and there that we just like missed tackles, a communication error once or twice. and. I just led to some big plays that we can't allow.